All right, this video we're going to talk a little bit about the cranial bones. And I want to apologize in advance for the background noise. I'm brewing some coffee for a uh, late night of studying. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to kind of go over briefly all the cranial bones on here. I'm going to kind of start at the top and work my way down. Um, this front part of the skull here, this is the frontal bone. Uh, the suture that connects it, this suture right here, this is the coronal suture. Um, the suture along the midline right here. This is the mid-sagittal or sagittal suture. Uh, these bones right here are the parietal bones. This bone right here, this purple looking one, this is the temporal bone. It's right along uh, your temporal or your temple. Uh, this bone on the back here, and if you've had psychology already, these are going to be the same as the lobes on the brain. Uh, but this is the occipital uh, bone, uh, which is exactly where the occipital lobe is. The suture around it is the lamb, uh, lambdoid suture. Uh, this suture right here, it's kind of hard to see on video, but it's in between the yellow and the purple. This is the squamous suture. Uh, this is the temporal bone. I think I just said that. This blue right here, this is the sphenoid bone. And it actually goes into the eye as well, the blue back in there. Uh, the orange color right here, uh, that's the ethmoid bone. And then the uh, kind of dark maroonish red color there, uh, that is the <clears throat> lacrimal uh, bone. Uh, this kind of light blue, this is the zygomatic bone. And all these have a left and a right. Um, so this is, you know, Bob's skull. Uh, this is Bob's right side of the face, and this is Bob's right zygomatic bone. This would be Bob's left, right, there we go, Bob's left zygomatic bone. So that's how you would label it. You would say this is the left zygomatic bone, this is the right zygomatic bone, right? Right ethmoid bone, left, left ethmoid bone. The sphenoid bone is really kind of you know, all one bone. So it, it's an exception because if you were to pull this bone out of the skull, it would be like one giant butterfly looking thing. Um, but the rest of them, like nasal bone, this would be the left, right nasal bones. This is the uh, maxilla bone right here. It's where, you know, your mustache would be if you were to have one. Um, this, this little black dot, that's actually a hole. Um, and a hole in anatomy is generally going to be um, a foramen. This is your orbit right here. So it's below that. So it's the infraorbital foramen. This is the supraorbital foramen. Uh, there's a, a left and a right. <clears throat> this is your mandible right here. Uh, the little black dot right there is a foramen also. This is your mental foramen. Um, I, I, whenever I was going through anatomy, there was a guy in my class that uh, made up a little joke on on how to remember that, and he used to say that when his life, wife was uh, flapping her jaw, it drive drive him uh, mental. So that's how he remembered the mental foramen. Uh, you know, not exactly 100% PC, but if it works for you, great. Um, if not, just forget I said it. And I'm not going to be going over uh, every one of the bones that we're going to be quizzing and testing on. Uh, just kind of some of the larger ones. If you can know everything. You know, or even a good portion of everything I'm covering in these videos, whenever you come to class, you're going to be doing great. Um, so, okay, this right here, if you can kind of see that, that notch right there, uh, that is the coronoid process, C-R-O-O-N-O-I-D, coronoid process of the mandible. Uh, there are more than one coronoid processes in the body, so it's important to make that distinction. This part of the mandible right here where it looks like Someone cut a notch right out of the mandible. Uh, that is the mandibular notch. The top part of the mandible here is the condyle. It's the mandibular condyle. Um, I don't think I listed that on your sheet. That was going to be one of the ones I had you would have you add to it. Um, maybe I did it, maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. It's top of my head. But this little hole, let me zoom in on that there, or focus in on it. This little hole right here where the uh, condyle of the mandible fits into. That is called the mandibular fossa. 
A fossa is like a hole or a depression that doesn't go all the way through. A hole that goes all the way through is generally a foramen. Um, so let's see, we did those. Um, let's turn the skull upside down here. There we go. Hopefully that'll stay. Um, these parts right here, this is like where the top of your uh, atlas would rest on. And these are the uh, occipital condyles. This is the occipital bone. These are the occipital condyles. Uh, this big hole right here is the uh, uh, foramen magnum. Uh, it's the biggest hole in the skull. So uh, you can kind of think of think of that as uh, magnum condoms are the biggest, maybe. Uh, so that hole is the biggest uh, foramen in the body, or not in the body, in the in the skull. Uh, so magnum just means biggest. Uh, this is the palatine. This guy right here 